If you subscribe to the channel, you'll get lots of interesting videos like this one. And if you like the video, it'll really help us out. Please comment down below for any other interesting things that also really helps us out as well. Hi, welcome to another edition of Easy Theory. So we talked about the CYK algorithm yesterday. So I want to give you some problems I want you to work on. And in fact, these ones are hard. Um, it's kind of hard to think of problems for the, the CYK algorithm, but these are just ones to actually just talk about. So we, de we determined that the runtime here is n cubed times the size of the grammar. So the runtime was big O of n cubed times the size of the grammar. So the first question here is, and I, I do know the answer to this one, uh, can the three be improved? So can the, the three in the exponent right here be improved? We usually consider the grammar size to be constant. So this uh, usually uh, is just left out of the big O notation. So the big runtime here is based on the three here. So can the three be made smaller? And, and there is an answer to that. Um, and then the second question is, um, is there another way to do this without using CNF? So remember, we actually heavily used that the grammar was in Chomsky normal form because it had a very special form that allowed us to deduce that a variable can't actually make the empty string and thus must make a non-empty portion of the string. And that's actually a really useful feature because now we can just figure out whether a variable, a variable producing two variables, because that's one of the rule types, if you have two variables, then the first variable must make the first piece and the second variable must make the second piece. But in a general grammar, we may have many variables on the right-hand side. So it may not be possible in general without Chomsky normal form. Or uh, another way might be, could there be a different form? So there are many, many different forms that you can put Chomsky, uh, that you can put context-free grammars into. So is there another way that we can actually do this? So hopefully that was interesting. Leave your thoughts and comments down uh, below the video. And as always, I'll see you next time.